The film is called In the Blink of an Eye, and it's a tribute to the James Bond franchise. Now, the actors and the producer are here locally from a Van Buren elementary school. In the halls of Oliver Springs Elementary School, you'll find Mr. Groxton in room 233. It's like I'm a teacher by day, composer by night. <laughs> Mr. Groxton's passion for teaching and producing came to life here with his students. My music club is made up of fourth and fifth grade students, uh, and we do all kinds of cool things. Going beyond music, Mr. Croxton produces a yearly fan film with his music club students. This year's film is a spin-off, paying tribute to decades of classics. I see her. All of a sudden, I just started hearing this song in my head. And it was a 1970s James Bond theme, except it was a new theme. After the script was drafted, he began to cast. Excuse me, might I have a word? The name is Bond. James Bond. The name's Bond. James Bond. Isaac George was gasted as 007. My favorite part is probably when Jaws came in. Lila Wright played a spin-off villain known as Claw. This is Mason Feeney. Mason Feeney plays uh, Q. Q is the gadget guy who always gives Bond his gadgets before he goes on his mission. It looks like a box of crayons, but it's actually a high-powered magnet. George Lazenby, who played James Bond in On Her Majesty's Secret Service in 1969, even made an appearance. I can't stress how critical this mission is. And whether you are a die-hard fan. Oh, I love James Bond films. I have every James Bond film that there is. Or are still too young to watch. I'm very, very proud on how it turned out. Man, the first time I saw it, I was blown away. I was blown away. Good work, 008. It was the opportunity to create a film. An idea that all started here in room 233. Yeah, it was, so it was a blessing to be able to, to do this. To, it's like a love letter to Bond and it was great. And the film is planned to premiere on the first night of the Fort Smith Film Festival. That's in August. You can also check the film out on our website at 4029tv.com. Reporting for 4029 News, I'm Wendell Ashman.